building in Space Engineers is often bottlenecked by a lack of components. I've lost track of the amount of times I've gone to an inventory, tried to pull out the parts I need and found my pockets empty. It seems like everyone has that problem because auto crafting is something that seemingly every Space Engineers player wants to get working at some point and I figured out how anyone can do it. Most people use scripts such as Taladen's Inventory Manager or Izzy's Inventory Manager and some use Drago's Production Quota Mod but for the 20% of people that told me they play on console, neither of those are an option. And there's people who just aren't interested in mods or scripts. The system I'm about to show you is easy, but it is time intensive, so I won't waste any more. When planning your auto crafting build, keep in mind that the system I'm about to show you is 23 blocks wide, seven blocks tall, and seven blocks deep. You'll be connecting to it halfway up, so leave three blocks of space above and below the center. Let's begin by setting up the conveyor sorters. Position them facing opposite directions, leaving a four block gap between them and assign suitable names. In this example, I've labeled them AC ingots in and AC components out. Adjust the whitelist settings of the sorters to allow only ingots and components as appropriate. Remember to not enable the drain all option as these sorters will serve as filters rather than emptying inventories. Next, place the conveyors, an assembler, a sorter, and a small cargo container as you see here. I cannot stress this enough, name them appropriately. You're going to be doing this as many as 21 times, so being thorough is going to pay off. I'm appending AC steel plate here for the first set, making sure to set the sorter to whitelist steel plates before turning drain all on, enabling repeat mode on the assembler and queuing up a number of steel plates. I recommend queuing a small number, like 10, to ensure that no one assembler hoards all of the resources. Add on the modules of your choice and you're set. When you're adding more assemblers to the system, you might follow the pattern you see me building here, as that way you can compact the assemblers pretty well. Just do that 20 more times to be able to autocraft all the vanilla components, or as many times as you feel you need. Once that's all been put together, put down a nice neat row of event controllers. Finally, we'll start with the automation. I'll walk you through the first one, as the process is the same for all the units you've built. For each event controller, make sure it's appropriately named. Set the event to cargo filled percent, the condition to equal or greater than, and the threshold to 90%. With these settings, it's usually just enough to keep a good supply of everything on hand. Though you may want to set some of the more rarely used components like medical components to a lower number. As always, Fiddle with the settings to get a feel for it and to better meet your needs. Once that's sorted, add the small cargo container to the event controller's list of selected blocks, and then we'll set up the actions. The first slot is for when the event condition is true, meaning the cargo is over 90% full. In this case, we want to turn off the assembler. The second slot is for when the event condition is false, where we want to turn the assembler back on. Again, just complete that about another 20 times and you have a fully operational auto crafting system that works on any vanilla game of Space Engineers on PC, Xbox or PlayStation, even if it is a bit ridiculously huge. You can make systems as powerful as this easily and everything you need to know to be able to make things like this is right here in the video on screen now. Catch you in the black.